Welcome to a new draw along video where I will be drawing Snufkin, a much beloved character of the Moomin universe. My video on Tove Jansen's way of using ink in drawing her landscape is very popular and this drawing was requested by a viewer um, but you should go ahead and check out this video on how Tove uses ink. This time I will be using a pencil, an eraser, watercolors and of course don't forget a brush and some water. And I'll be using a fine liner in the end. I'll just put away my sketch here and then we are ready. Let's start with a hat. Mm, Snufkin's hat is almost shaped like a cone. Only this cone is more organic and slightly tilted. And then the brim of the hat has these tears in it because it's so worn. Then I add some landmarks here to kind of see where the head is going to be. And after this, I connect the landmarks because the head is not round like a football. It's more like an mm, elongated circle. And we have the ear here. A tiny neck. And the scarf is going to be around his neck later on. So I want him to have his characteristic backpack on him, so his arm is bended as he is holding the strap here. We have the strap going down here in his hands, and then it goes down here. Also very characteristic is his cloak. And it goes down like this. And over here. And we have kind of like an echo of his hat here. A cone here again. Or a bell, you could say. Just make it slightly curved here so we have a feeling of momentum. And just like the hat, we add a few tears here and there because Snufkin really likes to wear his old clothes. We add a circle over here, which is Snufkin's other hand. The hair sprinkles upwards in a messy way. He has a huge nose. It goes slightly upwards in the bottom. And then he also has huge eyes and you want to make sure that they um, that the upper part of the eyes are hidden from the brim of his head. That's very important. And this is what gives uh, Snufkin kind of a mystical um, aura to him, I think. I'm making the left eye slightly smaller, but it doesn't really matter if this eye becomes just as big as the other. Just a tiny curved mouth here. He's not having a huge smile, but just a small, um, I would say also mysterious smile here. And then we have this scarf, which is basically just two sausages on top of each other. And then just make sure that the end of the scarf, which is um, going down on his, on his cloak here, is overlapping these two um, sausages.
and again make sure that they curve so we have this feeling of momentum um, that he's actually walking and the scarf is moving and not static all right we have the backpack here it goes down here and then a bit up here and then it goes down we want to give him something he can sleep on because he likes to sleep in his tent in the nature so he we are giving him this mattress put in his other hand and then his arms that we just barely can see from the other side here okay here comes my favorite part his pants and the shoes the pants also has uh, tears in them and as you can see i'm drawing the pants here so we're gonna make him um walk because he's out on his, one of his many wandering trips and the reason i love drawing his shoes is that the shapes of them is so playful they're quite long and then they have this uh, thick heel and a wonderful um, shape at the toes wonderful round shape at the toes Now because the other boot is behind him and in a different motion, we're gonna add the shoe in a bit different way here. This shoe is kind of drawn in the same way, just make sure that you tilt it like this. Just correcting the pants a bit here. We see in Tove Jensen's drawings um, that Snufkin is often portrayed with a feather or flowers in his hat. And I'm going to go with the flowers, I think. So this was the sketch. You can leave it as it is, or you can add some color with it, with color pencils, whatever you like. Um, if you want to use watercolors like I do, uh, we need to do a bit of erasing first. And I'm just using the eraser here ever so slightly, barely, barely putting an effort in, um, because we want to make sure that the, that the line is still visible, because we need that line when we're applying our colors. And also we need it for doing our fine lining at the end. So just make sure that there's a light gray tone still showing through here. For his cloak and his hat, I mix a mix of lemon yellow and paints gray. And this is what creates a kind of beautiful olive green.
For his pants, I add a bit of extra paint gray. For a snuffkin scarf, I'm using a mix of mustard yellow and lemon yellow. For the backpack, I'm using mustard yellow. For the color of Snufkin skin, I'm using just a tiny, tiny bit of red mixed with a good amount of water. This is what makes this um, very light red. For the pupils, I'm using a warm brown and the same thing for his shoes. And while I'm painting Snufkin and maybe you are also painting Snufkin, I'll tell you a little story about Snufkin, about his character, which I've been reading in a book about the Moomin universe. So here is a story about um, Snufkin. Snufkin, who is a son of Mimble and the Jockster, is a carefree and mouth harmonica playing wanderer who's always on the go. He carries a pointy green hat and comfortable old clothes. He has never really had an interest in material stuff, so he has very few parts that he owns and he can carry everything that he owns in his backpack. This makes it easy and comfortable for him to roam around however he feels like it. Every fall, Snufkin leaves the Mumi Valley and heads south during the winter to then return to the Mumi Valley in the springtime. He knows that the Mumi Troll will miss him, so he always leaves a short but encouraging spring letter. It is essential for Snufkin to be free to come and go as he wants to. Freedom means everything to him. And here's a small quote from one of the books. Um, it says, quote, I live here and there answered Snufkin, and found out three cups. Today here, tomorrow there. That's the fine part about living in a tent. End quote. It also says here about Snufkin that he is very independent and very thoughtful and enjoys his own company. He takes life as it comes. His favorite occupation is to fish and wander alone in the night. So that was a small story about Snufkin. And here as I'm just finishing 
the mattress which I chose to paint in red. I gotta be very careful not to um, paint in over his hair because we gotta have this sprinkly hair coming out of the back of his head here very soon. So while the paint on the mattress is drying, I'm going to start to use a fine liner here and I think I'm going over to time lapse here. The essential thing here about using a fine liner is just to be precise and try to see if you can conceal your pencil strokes while you fine line. Okay, I'm almost done with the fine lining part and I'll just add in the color of his hair here which is also again a warm brown, the similar color to the shoes and his pupils. There we go. The drawing here of Snufkin is finished and um, I could have chosen just to copy one of the many many drawings that Tove Jensen has made but I think this is a kind of boring way of of doing it. I'd rather do my own interpretation of him and I think that you can also go ahead and make your very own interpretation. Now you know that Snufkin consists of the pointy hat and his cloak and round head and a huge nose and then these funny shoes and with that knowledge, you can draw him however you feel like it. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I wish you all a great day and until next time, have fun drawing.